Well, all right, here is my uh, my regular garden. It's the end of August, and uh, kind of let some things go. Um, pretty much everything back this way. I'm just letting go. I've harvested what I want out of it, and uh, I'm not doing anything with it anymore. I've got some lettuce going to seed there, and some radishes here also going to seed. A lot of radishes I let go to seed, so I'll have plenty of those for next year. Um, some carrots in here that uh, <laughs> obviously haven't been weeding. I don't know if they're ready yet, but we'll try that later. But the tomatoes have actually done pretty well, all things considered. As you can see, I've got a few of them uh, up on little trellis things that I built, but most of them are just sitting on the ground here. And the, the first ones I picked had blossom end rot. This one isn't uh, not too bad. Um, now that I've watered them, they've actually done pretty pretty well. And there's just loads of tomatoes everywhere. I think I may have to uh, I may have to can them this year. <coughs> Peppers, yeah, they did okay. We've got a few little ones here, but they're not great. But the tomatoes are a bumper crop. We've got plenty of beans, pinto beans, and green beans that have already been harvesting, and pretty much got them all. Um, all that's left pretty much is seed and harvest these tomatoes and a few peppers and that'll be it for this particular garden. So we'll go on to the next one over there that I built. I'm not sure if I showed you after I built that little fenced in area or not. We'll walk over there and take a look. Well, all right, here's my uh, my other garden. Um, I've got hay in this one. Uh, this came off the field. Had way too many sambers uh, to feed to the cows. You couldn't use it for bedding or anything. so. I just threw it in the garden. I figure next year I'll either have good soil or I'll have the best damn samber patch in the county. But I've got tomatoes here. These were planted a little bit later, and they're doing they're doing pretty good. They're not uh, not ready yet, but I got a lot of a lot of tomatoes on them. Didn't really stake this one up because this is just the overflow of tomatoes that I had too many of. Um, and I had beans here, but a lot of uh, a lot of gophers have come in and kind of nibbled the roots and kind of took away all my green beans, but that's okay. I've still got uh, still got a few, and these will be I'll shell these and save them for seed next year. Yeah, some good beans there. Good little pinto bean, and uh, these are all beans here, and I have uh, some crookneck squash. That's pretty much done at this point, I think. As you can see, the gophers have been making mounds. They've done it in my zucchini as well. But I got plenty of plenty of fruit off both of these vegetables, or all of these, I should say. And there's just a, just a ton. These will go to seed, and I'll I'll cut them up and I'll save them. Um, had a few cucumbers. This one's obviously not doing so good. That'll be a seed cucumber, I suppose. And zucchinis, man, I pulled off a million freaking zucchinis. And these things I've let let go and they're bigger than my arm. They're they're like baseball bats, and there's one, two, three, four, four on this one, and I don't know, probably as many over here on this one. But as you can see, the gophers have been in here just eating stuff. Um, got some butternut squash there. I've also got little watermelons that are I believe they're ready. They're around here somewhere. I gotta get those in at some point. And I think I had more cucumbers over this way up. There's a couple. Pretty much nearing the end for those. I had a row of beans here and the gophers come in and dug straight through it. You can see the little hole there and underneath the beans all the way through. We just went through and ate them all. <laughs> And uh, here's the corn, not doing too bad, it's not ready yet. Uh, really probably should have watered it, but didn't uh, pay much attention to this particular garden. I think I was out here the other day and I saw a few ears, but nothing ready to go yet. Well, that's alright, my grandparents have a big garden and they've got tons of corn, so I won't be short. Yeah, there's a few, uh, few starting out, but they're awfully small. We'll see what they do. Hopefully it'll rain. Get a little wet on them. 
couple of more seed cucumbers and a couple of watermelons. Uh, as you can see, I kind of neglected weeding it after a while, and I just let it go, which is fine. I don't think it hurt much. I got what I needed out of it, so when I'm all done, everything's all picked and ready to go, I'll take the rest of that hay that I've got and spread over this whole thing. Hopefully that'll help the soil. Um, what I've got for soil underneath this is just real dry, sandy, crumbly, nothing in it, sand. And that's what's all over here, so trying to improve it where I can, but we'll see what happens.